The next guy up is Michael Murphy. Michael Murphy is from Baylor, uh, Baylor School in Chattanooga, Tennessee. He is uh, Coach Lean's pride and joy. Coach Lean introduced me to Michael at a, at a camp years and years ago, and uh, he's a guy that Coach Lean's known since he was a little kid. Just, you know, Coach is from Baylor. He's, he's from Chattanooga, so we've known Michael and his family for a while, and Michael's a guy that uh, he's highly ranked nationally. You know, he's in the top 100 and all that stuff at any weight class, and he's got accolades and junior national accolades and state championships and all that stuff. But you know, the thing about Murph for me is, you know, I talked about the. I've been mentioning a lot the three things we look for: obsessed, fearless, and loves wrestling. This kid loves wrestling. When we first started recruiting him, we were able to call him on the phone. He would talk for with Gavin, Coach Gavin, about all these different Russians that he watched and all these matches that he broke down. And and for me. It goes further than being a fan of the sport. I think you have to be able to study this sport to be to max out on your potential. In order to be really good at this sport, whether it be coaching or or wrestling, you have to study it. You have to keep up with it. And you have to really dig into um, to what people are doing and how the sport's evolving. When I first got out of college, myself and Tom Shiplett, my old uh, my old roommate, who was the head assistant at Cornell at the time, we used to we used to just sit at night and watch hours of NCAA film. We used to, we would study these different wrestlers and study their best moves and study their best positions. And I feel like Murph's that type of guy, and that's why I think that that's one of the things that sets him apart, and that's going to help him down the road. He's not even close to being done growing. I can't even project his weight because I don't know. I think he, his dad's huge. I think he's going to be a big kid. I think he's going to be a lot bigger than what he's wrestling right now. Um, I think academically he is extremely, extremely intelligent, and he works really hard. Again, that culture piece for us at Virginia, you, you can't just come here. You have to be able to thrive and not just survive. It is a really rough academic environment. It's very rigorous. It's very tough. The professors don't apologize for that. Murph's a kid that can handle that. And so we're, that's another thing we're really excited about. We think he's another guy that's not even close to being um, uh, where he's – his potential hasn't even been close to being reached because he's still growing. His body's still developing. He doesn't have hair in his body yet. He's going to be a guy that, you know, three years from now, you're going to be like, that's Murph. I think that's who – that's the type of kid he's going to be and comes from a great program with phenomenal coaching, great administrative support, uh, and, and an awesome family. His dad and mom are just uh, – sweetest people you ever meet and um so we're we think that again as soon as he steps in the room much like these other guys i mentioned that that, that uh we're going to all be positively impacted by him and i think he's a guy that's very easy to work with because he wants it so bad he loves wrestling that much and he loves virginia that much and so for us that relationship we think is going to be a great one because that's what it takes i mean ultimately in life you want to be around people that are like-minded you want to be around people that have the same aspirations as you and he's one of those guys